Hey everybody, Orpheolus here. Welcome back to some more Chicory Colorful Tale. Last time, well, we went through much of Grub Cavern. Um, but we were able to talk to Bugs now. Mm-hmm. You're in charge of making all that tasty color, right? Just looking at your brush makes me hungry. All right then, so yeah, so. Yeah, we're just beating him up really good. So yeah, so this time, we'll be basically um, heading down to the south confronting the next evil. Which is well, things were really going to begin to change up here, so we can head over this way. Past your dangers. I'm supposed to keep folks out, but the queen says you're okay, so you're okay. Go on ahead. Have a nice day. Thank you. I haven't seen the growth much myself. It, uh, I did take a peek, but boy, it's scary. I wouldn't want to be the one going in there. So yeah, so we are going in there, so as you can tell, given my level design, you can tell what our next ability is going to be in. Oh boy, it's a big one. So yeah, so there's nothing really no heading down into the uh, next area here. As we're heading further on down, well, you have ourselves the next big corruption. Okay, it's going to be something. All right, go ahead and paint these guys up. Um, why is there two brushes here? Okay, go ahead and paint these guys up here. All right then. So now we just gotta paint these open holes here. So yeah, it's kind of giving ourselves a little bit of a demonstration of what's going on here. Pancake. Huh? Give it up already. What do you think you're doing here? I... I'm not scared of you! But I am you. I know everything there is to know about you. Look at you, playing the wielder. You really think you should be the one holding that brush? Well, no. But I'm doing my best. Chicory trusted me with it. Chicory? After what she said, you think she trusts you? No, she probably hates me. Of course she does! You're completely alone. And embarrassing yourself. It's time you put an end to it. Alright then, so welcome to the Chicory boss fight. This is definitely a boss. In fact, well, Shadow Pizza. I would say go so far to say this is my favorite boss fight in the game. Okay then, so next up we need to go ahead and paint ourselves. Okay. So yeah, so this fight can be a little bit awkward, so to speak. Yeah, so you'll be constantly changing up screens every now and again, so you gotta be, be aware of what its uh, color scheme is before you uh, paint things up. Alright then, so we're already on to phase two, so you just gotta wait for things to open up there. Alright then, next up, opening that up there. Okay, now we just gotta get, get it to here before we can start painting it up. Alright, starting to smash things up here. There we go. Moving on to the next part here. Some uh, guides here and there, so just gotta be careful. Open this up here, guide it here. All right, now we can start popping you here. Okay, starting to bring things up this way, so it's gotta be uh, where we gotta go. This fight can be either really good. Now we're getting onto the next phase. Yeah, now we're changing things up, so now it keeps on uh, uh, changing perspectives. And I would say this is where the fight becomes really good. It's just disorientating, but not too difficult. All right, so it's changing things up once again. All right, let's keep on painting up here and changing perspective once again. All right then, so we're getting pretty close to the end of the fight. So yeah, let's keep on changing perspective and there we go. What a waste of time. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. The Black Forest will swallow everything. And it'll be all your fault. Well, that was indeed something. And our brush has powered up once again. And now we get tenacity, we can swim up vertical surfaces. Which is essentially the best ability in the game. Like, it really opens up your perspective. But yeah, I do like the uh, Shadow Pizza fight. There's your inner, your inner demons and just having to paint on the opposite side of screen. 
normally at least on my practice playthrough, I was really struggling with the perspective, but this time I was just like, okay, I'm just going to be painting wherever, and it actually kind of worked. Yeah, it's one of those that really trips up your brain, and I just love how the uh, screen keeps on flipping in and on itself, which is why it's probably my favorite fight in the game. But yeah, with our ability to swim up walls, the game is really starting to open up to us now. Alright, um, excuse me. Did you take care of that black tangle? Yep. Okay, because it appeared that, in fact, nothing has actually changed or improved. Well, thanks for your help. You might want to talk to the queen before you leave. I've heard about your black trees. Never seen them grow this deep, though. Something wild must be going on up there, hey? Yeah, something indeed is really wrong. Well, let's go head up here and talk to the queen. Yeah, all these bugs definitely remind me of Hollow Knight. I, uh, taking a look at those roots yet, dearie? Sure did. Sure did. But they haven't gone away. No. Come to think of it, whenever I do go to those spooky trees, they never actually go away. They just close up. Ah. Then it seems you must find the true source of all the roots. The growths here are vicious. But they're only a symptom of the larger problem above us. They must be the only way to make them go away. The true source of the roots. But where could that be? How are we supposed to know, darling? But surely somewhere in the surface world. We are counting on you. We're so glad to meet another wielder. They only come so rarely. And truthfully, the last one we met wasn't nearly so cute. We have been about for a long, 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 long time. But you little wielders seem to come and go so quickly. So sad, we always miss them. We used to live on the surface once. Long ago now. We were much smaller then. Things were easy. Remember the sun, so hot and bright. Remember that first wielder and their delightful colors. Ah, precious memories. So yeah, a little bit of lore on the uh, insect world there. So we have ourselves our next destination. We need to find a way to, well, we need to find the source of it. So, the rest of the episode we'll be kind of looking around for it. And mostly doing some uh, upkeep now that we've done some things here and there. So first things first, we're going to climb this thing up here. We get ourselves litter. So yeah. Oh, is that you there? Is that you there, Prunus? I'm so happy to see you paired up with a wielder. Prunus is a weird, is a really big wielder fan, you know. Why well, he always used to say, "I'm um, sorry, I don't want to translate that. He's being really embarrassing." Prunus and I are old, old friends, so I know how much this means to him. Show him all your exciting surface world. But also, please be kind to him. Alright, and that we will. So that is it there, and we are almost done here with the under. Yeah, besides collecting the things up there, we only have a couple things that we can do now. Funny how you cover yourself with those little claws. Without those, you must be very ugly, I guess. Or does it help you hide from predators? Or it keeps us from being arrested. And also keeps us warm because we don't have fur. But mostly prevents us from being arrested. So anyways, we can come right over here and we get ourselves a new present. A bee! Alright then. So now we can go ahead and disguise ourselves as a bee. And we're going to heading up this way. So yeah, so fun fact, this was one of the last items I ever got. Um, well let me paint. There we go. So now climbing up this little tree here. Before you head up further, climb this little thing here, yeah. It's definitely well hid. So we can head over this way and get ourselves a little thing right here. All right, and now we are full bee assemble. Now we can be who we want to be. All right, so that's basically it there. We unlock actually quite a few shortcuts now that we are uh, able to climb walls with uh, tenacity. In fact, I would go so far as to say it's probably the best ability in the game. You'll be using this for essentially the rest of the game. It's that powerful. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is climbing up this little thing here and getting ourselves the last litter of uh, the under. All right then, so now that we're outside here, I'm going to head and up painting this up. Get ourselves another lost kid. So now we are able to warp wherever we see fit. But before we do so, we're going to head back one screen. And we can go ahead and talk to you. Ah, hey Pancake. I've been looking everywhere for you. Um, the Wheeler Tower. In luncheon. It's, uh, something spooky is happening there. 
I mean, I guess it's not a rush, but like, you should maybe check that out. If you get a minute. Okay. I'm gonna go back home now. So we have ourselves our destination. The Wilder Temple. Well, I guess not the Wilder Temple, but the uh, Wilder Tower. So if we'll let me paint in here. There we go. We can head up here to the upper floor. And we get ourselves Spike. Alright, now we are edgy. Alright, so that is everything there. And if you look over to our map, um, cat cam. Yep, that is the last cat inside that region. So yes, yeah, so we've done quite a lot, but there's something very big going on there. So for the rest of the episode, we'll be doing a little bit of side quest um, cleanup over here in uh, Picnic. Well, not Picnic, um, Dinners. Just because since we have the ability to paint, we can now climb up this tower and do some fun things here and there. Mostly because in the next episode, a lot of stuff will be going on. So first things first, we're going to paint that there. And I just want to climb this tower, please. There we go. So now we're climbing this up. Keep going. Alright then, so here at the top of the tower, we can open this up. And we get ourselves a beak. Alright then, so um... Yeah, definitely the cursed ensemble. Um, raisins here. Mm hmm Acrid colors here. There's just something about it. It feels right. I'm glad someone feels right about all this all this nonsense. So yeah, so now we can um, climb up here to the top of the rooftop party. Well, let me climb up. And heading up here, everyone's going to be surprised that you're coming up there. It's like, wait, where did you come from? Alright then. So with this all done, next up we're going to be climbing up here. And instead of climbing up to the top, um... Okay, I thought that there was something there, but I guess not. Okay then. So continuing to climb up the tower here. We can talk to, uh, Timurin. Oh, I actually don't see folks up here. I'm one of the picnic's uh, transit flyers. I'm on break right now, though, so don't ask me to take you anywhere. The job's alright, I'd say. I love to fly in. Boy, howdy do I l do tons of that now. Sorry, you do get the rowdy jerk every now and then. But it's pretty, I'm a pretty sturdy gal. Find folks all around. You get the impression there's a real different picnic for everyone. To me, it's a tidy little province I can easily fly around. And even for the most of the larger animals, it's easy to climb in anywhere from from anywhere. So, sorry, so they don't transit much. But for the little ones like you, it's a sprawling expanse. Not to mention folks with limited mobility. So I'm happy to uh, help out. Alright then. Yeah, nice talking to her. So now we can climb up to the very top and get ourselves goggles. Alright then. So now we are believing. So yeah, so that's it there. So next up, um, one of these towers has something. I believe it's you. Canvas number 10, so we won't be able to get that for a long while. But let me paint up here. I thought there was something up here. Oh well. Was it up here? I don't think so. Um. Next up, coming up top of here. Um, don't see anything. I know one of these towers has the, uh, I think it's on top of here, come to think of it. Yep, it's on top of here that we have to go to. But not immediately, we're gonna hop this gap here, pop this open, and we get ourselves pilot. Oh yeah, now we are flying. Alright then, so with this all done, next up, we're gonna be uh, painting this in right in here, with this uh, ugly mustard color. There we go. So yeah, so I'm not for sure how much I'm gonna do right now. I do want to get this, though. Alright, paint this in. We get ourselves feather cap. Another feather there. Opening this up. Um, there we go. We can paint this open. And we get ourselves the bard. Alright, so now we can sing to our heart's content, I guess. Okay. Let me paint there, please. There we go. So now hovering the outside of dinners, so we're going to head south from here. And we can go ahead and climb into this little hole here. So we're just painting all around here. Um, there we go. And paint up here. And we get ourselves yet another gift. The Newsy! Yeah, they're just laying it thick on the on the uh, secrets right now. Then again, being able to climb means a lot of stuff has opened up. And I think, yeah, for the last thing we'll do this episode, it's going to be right over here. Because we're going to be able to climb this up. Head on over to this screen. And a lot of stuff we can go ahead and paint up here. I'm just kind of plopping it around here and there. So yeah. Just want to be sure I get a wall. Okay. Well, let me do. Okay. I hope this will be good. Just want to paint the entire screen. I help if I paint the entrance. 
All right then. So before we head over that way, we're gonna head over this way, hop down, swim across here, head up here. Let me, there we go. A little jank here and there. And inside this little chest here, we get ourselves a massive W. Okay, I'll wield this massive W. All right then, so the massive W, um, let me see if I can get a better color. So yes, this paints basically in a wavy fashion, which is actually really quick, all things considered. Like, this brush actually is pretty decent for walls. Yeah, then again, I don't really use much of brush techniques. So one thing that you can do is, um, um, okay, it's not letting me do it. So we can hop right here, and we can swim across onto this screen here. All right, then, so just paint across this little pathway here. It's definitely quick. Um, another screen up this way. There we go. A little awkward there. So you can open this chest up. And we get ourselves the biker jacket. So now we are edgy. So yeah, so with this all done, we managed to do some good progress this episode. We managed to explore quite a bit more of luncheon. We fought our shadow selves and all that stuff. And next time in Chicory, we will head to, well... Well, we'll talk to Chicory and see what the heck is going on since there's a massive corruption inside the Wilder Tower. I will see you all then.